Beneath me is the Jorah Mountains. It's dawn in late October. Freezing wind, just starting to rain. My first day here. Not looking so good at the moment, but what an area to be in. Down beneath me is the village of Moutier Haute-Pierre in the Doubs Valley. Uh, the Jura are a region of deep limestone gorges here in the Franche-Comte region of northeastern France. Swiss border, not far that way. The whole landscape gradually rising as you get nearer Switzerland. And the autumn colours down in the valleys are just coming to be at their prime. We came here back in 1997 very briefly and spent an enjoyable day shooting in the uh, Lisson Valley down below me and uh, I remember thinking then that it was an area that needed much more time and investigation. So here I am, drove down yesterday long drive, stopped at for a night at the Somme and had quite a moving experience photographing on the battlefield there. And uh, I've got just a few, four days really here to try and make something of this wonderful region. I came armed with a short list of locations to look at from my research. So on my first day, clearly my first priority is to get out, look at those and come up with a plan of where I need to be and when. With this low grey cloud, it's unlikely any of these high viewpoints are going to net the kind of uh, pictures I'm after unless conditions change. But having said that, down in the valleys, in amongst the woods, in the limestone gorges, this flat grey lighting may be just what I want. scenery. Just look at this deep limestone gorge down behind me. Lovely autumn colours down there. I'm near the source de la Lou. Well the sun's come out and I've got my first pictures of the trip done. Uh, I'm looking down on the Lou Valley again from this wonderful Belvedere and there's quite good dappled light on the landscape. Early afternoon so the sun's still pretty high in the sky but because it's autumn it's not too high and it just feels good to get the first pictures done. Hello. Déjeuner. Du camembert, du saucisson, du pain, du fruit, du beurre, c'est parfait. The ability to get the camera up high above this railing here, the tripod way up there is a real advantage in situations like this. Just beautiful in here. Love it. a good session here, some good colours, some really good motion patterns on the surface of the water. 
using a polarizer here and a 0.9 neutral density filter give me an exposure around about 10 seconds to get some good uh, motion on the water. Another dawn patrol. Yesterday was a very full day out behind the lens from before dawn until dusk, but a great day, so I'm hoping for more of the same today. Coming back last night, found this location you can see behind me with this willow tree standing in the river. And I've come back for first light and there's been mist down the valley up on the mountain above and very kind of subtle lighting here. And I'm well pleased with this session, been great very chuffed. I'm always mindful of stripping the composition down to its simplest, simplest elements. That's a rule of thumb that always works without fail. One acquisition I've got for this trip which is proving dead handy is this Lee Filters pouch which you can hang from the tripod and has slots for all my filters. Really useful. Got quite a good shot going here. I love it when I can work from the tailgate of the car. This is the source of the Lisson. Gorgeous, isn't it? Some subtle autumnal colour there, using the 70 to 200 mil here with polarizer and 0.6 neutral density filter. Completely by chance, I have bumped into Nicolas Logerol, French professional photographer who I've been in touch with via Facebook. And here he is in the car park at the Source de Lisson. Great to meet you, Nicolas. Great to meet you, David. <laughs> it's an honor. I can't believe this. We've just met like this, it just does, in the huh? car park. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So you know the. Uh, this is your home, Franche Comté. Yes. Oui? Yes. Oui? Yes. And you know all over the region? Yeah, yeah, a little bit uh, Franche Comté, Bourgogne. Would you say this is the best time of year to be yes, here? Yes, yes, uh, autumn color is the best uh, um, best season for a great color uh, for the landscape. Yeah. And, uh, bon, it's, uh, it's rainy this yeah. time, but uh, when the sun comes, I, in the last the 48 hours, I've seen early everything from snow oui. up top yes, yes. to grey cloud to heavy rain to beautiful sunshine. Yes, yes. yes. And here in the morning, it's beautiful uh, when the sun passed uh, in the in the trees in the, in the, yeah. the oh the yeah foliage. Just this morning, it's just been fabulous, <laughs> fabulous. I'm deep in the gorge of the Lisson and it is an amazing landscape. Real characteristic limestone topography. And look at this scene behind me here. Just look up there, you see that huge gorge above me and then these streams down here. And I've been shooting from on this bridge so I can get a shot from over the water using the 17 mil tilt and shift lens to get the full vertical scale of the picture and keep all the verticals of the trees parallel to the edge of the frame. I'm very pleased with this picture because I feel it says something very strong about the landscape of this area.
last hour crouching on boulders beside this torrent, experimenting with making vertical panoramas. Again, using the 17mm tilt and shift lens and shifting up, middle and down to get the full height of this amazing, amazing gorge that I'm deep in. It's been tremendous fun. I, I hope, I think it should work, but uh, quite experimental. A lot of fun anyways. It's about uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. Got another couple of hours of light. I'm having the most incredibly self-indulgent day of photography. Great fun. Very pleased with how it's going and enjoying it immensely. Uh, it's just so good to be engrossed just in doing pictures. And I've not really moved more than uh, a few hundred meters just been totally engrossed in in uh, in the area and uh, it was great to meet Nicola uh, just uh, one of those acquaintances I'd made on Facebook never met him before but uh, it was his message that prompted the decision to come here one of those off-the-cuff decisions that uh, I'm really glad I made it's just a really beautiful area Morning, another dawn patrol and I'm walking through the woods towards the lip of the Gorge de la Lou. Uh, when I got up this morning it was mist down below so I'm hoping from up here I'm going to be looking down on a misty, ethereal, evocative landscape. Don't you just love this game? As hoped I did get this mist down in the valley this morning and I've got on the job the 200 to 400 mil lens with the built-in 1.4 extender doesn't get a lot of use on a trip like this but today just using the receding planes and the mist doing really tight in compressed perspective shots it really really works well and I'm so glad to have it with me waiting for the sun to hit the village down in the valley down below. There's still a bit of mist hanging around. I just li live for mornings like this. They're just so exhilarating. It's what it's all about. Well, I've shifted location for my last day here in Franche-Comté. Moved about uh, 60 miles to the southwest from Ornan and the uh, Val de Lou over to Chateau Chalon, which you can see up on the hill behind me there. Uh, and uh, on the slopes down below, these wonderful golden vineyards with uh, this time of year really warm, orangey, yellowy colour. So uh, I have a mind to try and piece together a shot using them as strong foreground interest. Classic view of Chateau Chalon is from up on a hill looking down on it, or across to it, shall we say. Uh, but I'm wanting to do something a bit different, and certainly to use these wonderful colours of the vineyards as foreground interest. So that's the plan.
it's starting to get quite milky, quite hazy at the moment. So it may be over for this afternoon. We'll see. I'll stick it out. But I can't complain, I've had a fantastic few days. Tomorrow I head for Calais and home. Would have liked a lot more time here. But I just have to come back. Really just feel like I've scratched the surface of the potential of the area. It's got a lot to offer, Franche-Comte, and not a lot of people know about it. 